All right, so this is another example on convolution uh, following up with the, uh, the last video that I've done. Um, so you have to watch that one first before you watch this one so that you can kind of get a feel of... So this is basically a continuation of, of you know, that, that one. Well, kind of, sort of. But this example is straight from um, the NCCS book. Uh, the function it says the function x of t is to be convolved with h of t so th the functions are given below and the question is to find the value of convolution of x of t with h of t yeah with h of t for t between 0 and 1 now <clears throat> obviously um, the answer choices are function you know it I mean it's a function is not graphical so this one is, is gonna be a little shorter but the concept is is, is still the same you know um, we are maintaining one function flipping the other moving forward and finding out as we move forward finding out um, the limits and integrating so as soon as we find the integrating limit I guess the interval this one then we can stop we don't really have to move forward okay so again between two the two functions here which one do I maintain and which one do I flip so obviously this one is the shorter is the easiest signal again the the key here is to flip the shortest signal or the easiest signal so here the shortest signal is um, h of t because it stops at 1 you know it's a time domain it stops at 1 so it's the shortest signal so this is the one that we are going to flip and we are going to maintain this one so first we're gonna have to change the t's to tau's okay that would be our first step so that we know we are dealing with tau's instead of t's okay It's your first uh, thing to do. Otherwise, you're going to mix things up. So this is tau. And this is tau. Oh, this is tau. Okay. So we multiply this function by minus tau, just like the previous video, by minus tau. So it'll go to the other side, and then we add t, which is a shift by t. Okay, so this is what we have. Let me put it here. So this is what we have. Well, it's not proportionate though, but I guess you get the point. So we shifted it. So this will flip to the other side because we multiply by minus one. So it will be minus one here. And then we add a T. So this is T minus one. And then the um, point of origin will become 0 plus t so there's a t here okay so this is r h t minus tau so we multiply by minus 1 which means flipping and we add a t which means shifting okay all right so this is what we're going to convolve with this function over here so we can go ahead and uh, erase it if we want to or we can just put it in the middle over here so you, we can see what's going on all right so we have one over here somewhere and we have two here this is sort of like a triangle I guess it's not proportionate but it should be I mean it's one in ones I have a 1 here and this is x of tau so if we are bringing this one so from here 
if we bring it to the origin point of origin point of origin here there's no overlapping so we don't really have to put it there okay so technically most of the time I skip that part because there's no overlapping so I definitely like I let me put it in so you see what I'm talking about like if we shift it one time it's gonna be here let me it's gonna be here so you have t minus one here and you don't have t here there's no overlapping with these so when t is less than zero there's no overlapping okay so we can erase that and keep moving forward bringing in inside the triangle so we know we are somewhere here So our edges it is t minus one and the other one is t so here we know that um the the edges would be uh for t minus one less than zero somewhere around here so it'll be t minus one less than or equal to zero you know less than zero and our T um, being positive okay. in this case being positive so here we have T less than one right we'll bring it to the other side less than one and T greater than zero so T here is between zero and one okay so we have t between zero and one so we know that overlapping occurs we not I'm not saying where the overlapping is but I'm just saying that overlapping occurs anywhere between zero and one it could be anywhere here obviously we know that this here but you know the point is that it happens anywhere between between zero and one so this is our interval. Now the question was, where, I mean, what's the value of convolution between zero and one? So we don't, technically we don't have to move forward with this. Although we could have gone forward and keep going and finding out all the areas of overlapping regions and finding out the final representation, the graphical representation, but that's not a question here. So we can erase this and stop here. Obviously in the exam they know that you don't have all the time in the world to keep going but I guess that's the point and so here um, we can highlight now that we have the region itself where the overlapping occurs now where is the actual overlapping area where is it exactly so the overlapping area we know that it's here so it's bounded by so y of t or whatever the um, question was y of t maybe we can call it y of t so the overlapping occurs bounded by this area this region this area here is bounded by 0 and t so we can do 0 and t bounded by I guess I drew it wrong but this line over here right so this is kinda like a slope thing bounded by 1 so this line over here is just tau you know if you were to draw tau like for instance you say y is equal to t if you were to draw t this would be it you know what I mean so you have a tau here this this line here represent tau so this is tau d tau so of course this is t bounded by 0 and t t squared over 2 excuse me tau squared over 2 if you will tau squared over 2 excuse me, hold on so this is tau squared the forgetting about the limits here just having a tau here for the integral this is tau squared 
over 2 bounded by 0 and t that's what I wanted yeah so now this is of course t squared over 2 and this is your final answer so this is just one of one of the you know convolution between x of t and h of t in that particular interval of 0 and t now we could have of course we could have moved forward and find, find it, finding out other overlapping regions and finding out their particular integrals, separate integrals. But that's not the question over here. So the question here was just between 0 and 1. And now that we were able to find that overlapping between 0 and 1, we just solve the, uh, the, the integral you know, area. So the area here is bounded by, from 0 to t, bounded by this line over here. Is this line over here right that's the area basically underneath that and that line is tau really so that's how you find that that answer and and that's about it now there's you could have had like different versions of this question where they could have given you graphical other graphical representation for the final 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 convolution but we're just going to stop here because this was the question um, for this one right here. And so you can kind of see here that once you get a feel of finding out the overlapping areas, it's just pretty straightforward after that. So if you have any questions, um, let me know. All right. Thanks.